Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to talk about a topic that a lot of my fans have been begging me to talk about for quite some time. I haven't really talked about it in a couple weeks, so I might as well just jump right into it and get on with the whole Storm Generations talk. So first off, I just wanted to get started with what has been going on with this Storm Generations news. I mean, I haven't really been saying anything about it. You guys might have just heard about some stuff, some, some of the newer scans that came out, and right now, or something, uh, an image might pop up, a scan or something like that, and well, the scan is of the Tsuchikage, the Mizukage, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly, but yes, they have been confirmed for the game, as well as their subordinates, it's not really clear yet if their subordinates are just support hopefully not i'm pretty sure they've understood that's a bad idea ever since the first storm game had the only support characters which were horrible so yeah the game's moving along it seems as if they have some newer characters in there it looks pretty good and not only that a scam recently came out about a day or two ago that also has the young kakashi or the kakashi chronicles characters from it so yeah you have Minato and uh, Kakashi and Obito. Yeah. And I'm not really sure about the third member of their group, the girl. I don't remember her name, but then again, it doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah, I don't think that she's going to be in the game. She didn't really do anything, anyways. Nobody really knows her powers, unless that happens like, later on in the manga, but I wouldn't know about that. Yeah, so I, I don't really know. It's going to be kind of fun to have a whole match. PTS pre time skip Sasuke versus Obito and you know just a whole big ass showering gown fight adding in Obito is, uh, that seems pretty cool to me. So yeah, really all that's been happening is that those two scans have came out and well if you have been paying attention to Comic Con and I think there was another expo before that, there's also been some gameplay going around on YouTube. Uh, people have been recording gameplay of uh, fights like between, there's only a couple of characters in that demo, it's like the Raikage, you can play as Naruto, uh, PTS Naruto as well, and Sasuke, PTS Sasuke, and I think that's about it. Um, I, I did see some gameplay of Zabuza as well, but I'm, I'm not really 100% sure about that. Yeah, so that's been out there as well, and I guess that's it for the whole news part of this video. And now on to the whole discussion part. The part that I like to just talk about the game and how it's doing so far. I mean, I know, I know guys, it's only been like a month, maybe, I don't know, barely two months. I'm not even sure since this game was actually announced. Uh, so I can't really say much about it. I can't really say a whole lot about it, but I can say what it looks like so far. A lot of people have been coming to me and asking me what are my immediate thoughts on the game? Well, to be blunt, it looks like Storm 2 with Storm 1 characters. And a couple new characters added in and some more extra story. Which it basically seems like. And people have been saying, oh my god, this game looks like it's going to be the best game ever. And I understand I felt like that about Storm 2. And I did not understand shit. Now, I, I, I'm actually understanding shit, I hope you bear with me, and understand with me, these, I don't even know, what the hell type of word would I use for this? Circumstances? I don't know. But yeah, just bear with me right now, and just pay attention to what I'm saying, because you might be a person who's like, all oh, hyped up about this game, but you gotta just calm down for a second and understand that this game, so far, doesn't look as if it's gonna be too much better than Storm 2 for a good reason. I know, I know, I got a little or actually a lot hyped up about Storm 2 and the actual game never even lived up to all the hype that I was making. So yeah, that was a bad thing. But now I understand that I have to pay attention to a few factors and well, I have a good game to put generations next to. You know, because they look almost exactly the same, just saying. First off, what about the gameplay? Has it changed at all? Well, if it did, hopefully it didn't change in a bad way. 
because I'd hate to her to have some new feature where you can play rock, paper, scissors. Just like in Ultimate Tenkaichi. That's awesome, you guys. It's really awesome. No, but seriously, none of that bullshit. Maybe they could improve on the button combinations or something like that, so you wouldn't be pushing like, oh, I don't know what that, what that button was. It was like either square or circle, or for you 360 users out there, like X or B, something like that. You just keep pushing it and you win a battle. It's awesome. Maybe you might press triangle a few times, you know, maybe push the bumpers or the L1R1, you know, just a couple times and win a battle. That's awesome. That's great, you know. But seriously, just, I would love for them to make the gameplay just a bit more complicated. Just a bit, you know, not even really complicated, just a bit more advanced because it just seems too easy for me. It just seems way too easy and extremely, oh my god, if, if you have played online in Storm 2, you understand what I'm talking about with this. Too spammer friendly. Way too spammer friendly. I am not fucking playing. Have you been shot at by Lars the entire fucking battle? Have you been shot at but why the fuck did they give him a gun? That's my first question. Why'd they give him a gun? But anyways, yeah. Spammers are not very, well, good. And that's what the team that worked on Ultimate Tenkaichi did. They did a thing where it's anti-spammer. Or not spammer friendly. And they made it into a game of rock, paper, scissors. Let's just hope that this game won't take from that but will also just understand that there are spammers out there and they will spam as long as it's just one button to attack. I mean, make it a bit more complicated, you guys. I mean, you see a lot of good fighting games out there. I, I know I shouldn't be really comparing this game to like, I don't know, Street Fighter or Tekken or whatever. But I'm just saying, there are a bunch of games out there, fighting games, that, well, then again, Storm isn't really a core fighter. It's not really like it's not really like those games, but still, those other games they have like these other just I, I don't even understand like button configurations that make the game a bit more complicated. Like I can't just jump into it and just say like, "Oh, I got this just pushing one button." No, cuz there's like fucking six buttons that you can use for different types of attacks. You see, I'm not really saying for Storm to have that six button complication or the whole buttons that have like six whole buttons for attack, but make it just a bit more complicated than, you know, just one fucking button. Wow, I took a long time talking about that, no, didn't I? Yeah, so to move on, what about the online? That's the second part. If you guys have been through the whole online experience with Storm 2, you understand that, well, if people lose and you might win, they might be sore ass losers and just cut their systems off and have you fucking not get that win. Just not even have it on your, your streak or whatever. I mean, I'm not really sure if they can prevent from that happening. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. So that's just one thing that really, that really annoyed me. I'm not really sure if they can get rid of that, but it just annoyed me. And another thing that kind of annoyed me was the fact that I could not get in a battle right away. I had to wait like at least five minutes in between battles. I mean, I'm not talking about, okay, you're battling with your friends online, right? Because they're in your friends list, you know that they want to battle, so you're like, hey guys, let's battle, you know? It's not like that. It's like, if you just want to battle people in a ranked battle, across the world or whatever, it takes like forever to find somebody. You click on their name and it says they're not available. You keep going down the list and down the list and down the list and they're not available. And there were a few other things that really annoyed players. I know people that were kind of annoyed with the way that the online worked in Storm 2. So if they could just work on that, that'd be great. So yeah, there's not really much else I can say except, well, I hope this game's gonna turn out very good. But still, I need a bit more from it, some more gameplay, some more information about it. And, well, I just need to see a lot more progress, which is going to take a couple months. 
If you have anything to say about the game, like your opinions or whatever, just post a comment below. And, well, that's it. So, I'll see you guys later. Stay gold.